In this lesson, we're going to look at a strategy called near doubles. And this is just a strategy again to help make the calculation easier for your child. So we're going to look at numbers that are very near to our double numbers. So again, you want to make sure that your child is aware of what a double number means and what their double answers actually are. So just go through and double check. Do they know what double two is, double six, double five, double four, all of that. And once you're happy that they do know their doubles, this is a great strategy for them. It is just identifying when two numbers that are very close are actually near to a double number. And it is actually using that knowledge of doubles to help calculate. So as you can see, we have the calculation six plus five here. Well, five is near to six. So we could maybe double this number and it would be much easier than trying to calculate what six plus five is because we already know what six plus six is. And we know it's 12. But because we have added on a number to our five, we have made it into six, we need to now adjust at the end and take that away. So we can take that one away, which means we have 11. Again, identifying that yes, these two numbers are very near to doubles. So we can say our doubles are going to be eight plus eight, which is 16, take away our one is 15 which is just slightly more manageable for your child. It's using those known facts that they already have learnt that are already placed firmly in their brains and they can actually use those facts to solve other problems in different contexts. And even taking it up further, that's our very single digit, our very simple single digit calculations. We can even take it further up into our double digit calculations using our two two digit numbers because we already know that double two is four so we already knew that double 20 is 40 and again 20 plus 20 this time we are going to adjust slightly differently because we have taken one away so this time we're going to add one on and we are going to get 41. So really just using those known facts using those near doubles identifying those near doubles to get to an answer that we just have to adjust very easily by adding one or taking one away and they get to that number very, very easily. But of course, this only works when numbers are close to near doubles.